Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I'll say real quick, I imagine there'll be some people that will um, click on this video thinking it's going to be somebody else um, kind of complaining or singing the blues or, at, or wondering why they've gained weight on this raw vegan lifestyle when I just got to say my experience has been uh, a polar opposite. Um, you know, especially without going high on the fat, I've found it almost impossible to, uh, you know, I wouldn't say I've found it impossible to gain weight, I just have found it a challenge and it's been little by little. Um, so when people say they can't control and, and they've gained weight and didn't want to, I mean, I don't really get that. But like I say, I've, it, it, as I'm always saying on my channel, this channel is about me. This channel is about how my body processes things. It's just an experiment. It's not saying everything I, by no means is saying everything I do is going to work for you. Everything I do is the right way. Once again, it's just like me plugging in an experiment and just sharing the results with you. So I've been, you know, as I'm uh, finishing out the year, I've been thinking about some things. Also, too, being here um, in Alabama, you know, back in the States, I have access to a gym. I haven't had access to a gym for the last five months. It's been, it felt good getting back in the gym, not just, the, and people ask me all the time, yes, I still do the body weight training. It is, a, it is, a, it is kind of the foundation of my workouts, but, you know, I, um, I, and I use dumbbells to supplement down in Costa Rica, but when I'm around one, I use the gym to supplement, and I've really enjoyed that because there's just certain things I want some weight when I'm doing it. I want some resistance. And I'm going to do my best to be disciplined and uh, try to put on about 10 pounds this next year. Now, also, too, there'll be somebody that hasn't watched my channel before. I've talked about this, and, like, I start getting uh, uh, suggestions from left and right field. I probably don't take them because I kind of figure out my battle plan and... Um, I'm not like just willy-nilly constantly, oh, this person said try this, try this, try this, try this. No, 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 I don't roll like that. But um, And anyhow, like I say, and it's not that I'm obsessed with it. I My goal over the next year is to put on 10 pounds, 10 solid pounds. Um, you know, I've uh, when I got into this lifestyle, I got ridiculously skinny. I've always been a bigger, heavier guy uh, my whole life. So I got ridiculously skinny, looking like a crackhead, looking like one of the stick men. And for a couple of years, I was okay. It was kind of this whole, ooh, you know, I'd never been that size before, and the stick man thing was okay. But as it wears on, I like to, uh, you know, I like to carry a little size. And as I get older, you know, I don't want to be some little skinny old man. Now, what I'm talking about is I weigh, I came, when I came here, I weighed about 155 to the States. I weighed the first day I came here. So, um, I pretty much stood pat last year. I didn't, I didn't gain, I didn't lose. I planned on trying to really put on some size last year, but, um, and I, you know, I look back through some videos at myself and I think I might've been just the slightest bit thicker six months ago before I moved to the mountain and wasn't, um, you know, really pushing it as much. You can get a little lazy on that mountain up here, but anyhow, over the next year, I'm just going to try to be solid and steady and consistent throughout the year. There's no big, there's, I don't have some big formula of these big secrets or this or that. There's basically going to be three, four, five, six uh, principles that I'm going to try to stick to every day and just be consistent with that. Number one is going to be getting the calories. I shoot for 3,000 calories, and I've mentioned that over and over and over in these videos, but I shoot for 3,000 calories. Sometimes I don't make it the priority I should. Like I'll get in the afternoon, I'm like, eh, I should go ahead and get this smoothie. I should do a smoothie now so I, you know, so it has time to digest so I can have this dinner and get all my calories in, but I'm not super hungry, so I'm like, eh. So I miss those calories. So number one is going to be making sure I get those 3,000 calories at least and then to put on a little bit, I'll start experimenting with like adding three and four hundred calories a day. You know, maybe an extra three or four bananas, an extra three or four smoothies. Number two, yes, we get plenty of protein, and I'm not like one of those freaky people about the protein uh, thing, and I'm not going to start taking a bunch of protein powders and uh, what have you, but. The closest I come to supplementing when it comes to that, and I will be doing this a lot. I do this a lot anyway, not for that, but my spirulina, I'm probably going to be using, um, I'm going to probably put spirulina in two smoothies a day when I get back, and hemp seeds. I'm going to use the hemp seeds, I'm going to I'm going to use this for my fat a good bit because it's got a little bit more protein in it than, well, it's got a lot more protein in it than, say, an avocado. So I'm going to try to hit the smoothies hard with the spirulina and the hemp seeds get those consistent calories. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on the mountain. I'm going to adjust a little bit, even if I've got to get creative with the resistance. I'm going to take 
what I have there, those dumbbells. Um, maybe I might buy some bands, resistant bands or whatever. And I'm just gonna try to do the best I can for however much more time I'm on the mountain. Now that might actually play into things in my next move. I would like to, um, I'd like to get close to, like access to a gym or somewhere close around a gym. Or if, I, if that's not possible to possibly, you know, have some transportation to get some more equipment in to where I'm gonna go. I could buy a few more things. I mean, you know, we got an old school, we've got a Walmart down there where I bought my dumbbells and I could get some barbells and a few little things that would make that, um, you know, that I could do, just pretty much work out at home. So um, calories, spirulina, hemp seeds, um, being consistent with the workouts, you know, sometimes I even even the body weight workouts I'm I, I get okay I think I'll do yoga today and and you know, I end up not being as consistent with them or not doing them as frequently as I would like um, So yeah, that's just about it. It's just gonna be consistency. It's no big no big thing I mean, um, I don't come up with big programs or gimmicks or whatever. There's no gimmicks don't work it's just and, and that's what's boring and that's what's uh, <laughs> I know my channel would be a lot uh, more exciting it might take off if I had some of these next level programs and like okay you're gonna wake up at five today you're gonna spin around you're gonna touch your nose you're gonna do a scoop of this a bite of this blah 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 that's just not quite how my uh, head works and um, it's just not practical, not or not practical for some for somebody like me. But I'm not throwing that, not throwing shade on that approach either. Sometimes different strokes for different folks and different things resonate. Some people, you know, are inside the box type people. They sit in their traffic, they sit in a cubicle, and they need a structured thing, uh, somebody to tell them do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, but for a lot of people, that doesn't work. Um, so anyhow, ten pounds. And also, too, it's a goal I'm going to put my time into, and I'm going to take it seriously, but it's also something like if I get to whatever time, let's fast forward to uh, December 2017, and I fly back to the States to see my mom for the holidays, and I get on the scale a year from now, and I don't see 165, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's a failure or whatever. Hell, if I, if I gain four or five pounds. And it's solid that's that's great it's just and I'll finish off with this listen I'm not obsessed with too many uh, things about the weight or whatever but as an older uh, listen I'll be 53 in March I'm six foot two and 155 pounds and I carried a lot of weight through my life I've talked about this before and I'm not gonna get into that part right now but um, I had already gone I, I had already gotten fairly healthy before I came to the raw vegan lifestyle when I started being raw vegan I was about 175 180 but I was solid if I'd have known if I'd have just known a little bit about the whole thing then and if I had eaten to, in a manner where I didn't drop all that weight but just started getting cleaned out I could have been a big buff old 100 I could have been about 20 25 pounds heavier than this but not with fat so anyhow I just the the main reason I want to do it is as you get older I worry about a little protection around the you know I my ribs are very sensitive anyway I've hurt my ribs or made it, gotten them sore several times so you know if I was to get in some sort of an accident or took a fall or whatever I just want a little bit more meat on my body to absorb those things and you know I just think that's a good thing as I get older too um, you know, if I, I take care of the inner part of my body, but that doesn't say I will never get sick. And what if I get so you see people that get sick and lose 25 or 30 pounds? Well, if I'm bouncing around 155 and I were to get some sort of a sickness that, or illness where I couldn't eat well or whatever to drop 20 or 30 pounds from there, well, shoot, I'd look like I came out of a concentration camp or something. So I just want to put on a little bit of healthy weight, get rid of the stick man look, um, and um, yeah. Just be a little heavier anyhow just my two cents worth you can follow along with that and see if i progress throughout the year and see where we're sitting come december of next year anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it give us give me a thumbs up please hit that subscribe button and when you hit the subscribe button a little box will pop up hit the bell next no hit the bell next to the subscribe button a little box will pop up and you can check get notifications and then hopefully that will keep you subscribed to the channel anyhow hope you're having a wonderful week and i love each and every one of you peace